For the best and the cheapest FIFA 20 coins, IG Vault is the most secure website you will ever find. During Team of the Season, you can get yourself up to 8% off using the code Y5K Team of the Season. Link is in the description. Yo, what's going on guys, Y5K, welcome to a new player review on FIFA 20, now today we are looking at the 92 rated team of the season Gabriel, 5 star weak foot, high defending work rate with amazing defending and physical stats and that's exactly what you love to see on a center defending mid, to be honest he is looking like he might be a great center defending mid slash center mid to use on FIFA 20 with really good all rounded stats, now with his 80 pace, 93 dribbling, 87 shooting, 92 defending 90 passing as well as 95 physical i think in game he could be a beast and for his price right now he will cost you around 150k and we will see on the gameplay if you should buy him for more than 100k now let's take a look at his in-game stats he has got 83 acceleration with 76 sprint speed 78 finishing with 99 shot power as well as 95 long shots for his passing and dribbling stats he has got 91 vision 92 short pass with 97 long pass 90 reactions, 96 ball control, 97 composure with 76 agility. For his amazing defending and physical stats, he has got 96 interceptions. 93 stand tackle with 88 slide tackle, 92 jumping, 95 stamina, 93 strength with 99 aggression. Really good all rounded stats for a center defending mid on FIFA 20. Now work rate of medium high which is the best work rate you can ever get for a center defending mid because of the high defending work rate, 5 star weak foot with 3 star skill moves which is good for a CDM, not bad at all. However guys this is the squad that I will be using to review the 92 rated team of the season Gabriel. Now before jumping into the gameplay if you're not around here don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated. Now into the gameplay we go, 92 rated team of the season Gabriel, is he one of the most overboard center defending mids on FIFA 20? We will see on this gameplay. Now first of all we all know that Gabriel has got really good all rounded stats, especially if you wanna use him as a center defending mid, 92 defending, 95 physical, high defending work rate with 5 star weak foot, and of course he is Brazilian which is a good nationality to link with other players. Now I already can tell you that in game he is an absolutely beast, great defending with amazing physicality in game, one of the best strength I have ever seen on a center defending mid on FIFA 20. So the question is should you buy him for 150k? However guys now before jumping into the good and positive things let's talk about the best game style to use of him. Now for the game style you need something that increase his base so if you wanna use him as a center mid you should go with engine game style which increase his pace, dribbling as well as his passing. But if you wanna use him as a center defending mid and I think most of you will use him as a center defending mid you should go with anchor game style which increase his pace, defending and physical. Using the anchor game style he will be a 96 rated center defending mid with 84 pace, 98 defending as well as 97 physical. Anyway guys I'm moving on into the good and positive things, starting off with the best thing with him which is going to be his physical, like I said absolutely amazing physicality in game and trust me I really mean it, and I do believe that everything with his physical is great in game and his height is 6 foot 2 with a great jumping in game, however guys I'm moving on into another great thing with him which is going to be his interceptions, 96 interceptions with great interceptions in game, now don't get me wrong everything with his defending is good in game but for me I think his interceptions is the best thing with his defending. Now what about his dribbling, does he has bad dribbling in game? Now as you all know he has got 93 dribbling but the thing about his dribbling he only got 76 agility and as you all know agility does really matter on FIFA 20. And of course with 3 star skill moves which is of course if he had at least 4 star skill moves that would be much better. Now the best thing with his dribbling I have to mention it which is going to be his composure. 97 composure which is a lovely thing to have on a center defending mid. Now the last good things with him I'm going to start off with his shot power, 99 shot power and I'm not gonna lie to you, really good shot power and long shots in game. And of course I'm not going to forget his weak foot, 5 star weak foot which is a lovely thing to have on any player. Anyway guys I'm moving on into the bad things that 92 rated team of the season Gabriel has. Now I'm going to start off with his agility, he only got 76 agility and as you all know agility does really matter on FIFA 20 and that's not exactly what you wanna see on a 92 rated center mid and of course he only got 78 finishing but if you want to use him as a center defending mid finishing is not the most important thing to have as long as he has got good shot power and long shots in game 
In the end, I think he's an overall center defending mid to use on FIFA 20 and trust me, a good one as well. Really enjoyed playing with him with his high defending work rate, 5 star weak foot with amazing defending and physicality in game. Now for me, I'm going to give him 9 out of 10 for his pace, 8 out of 10 for his dribbling and like I said, he has got bad agility balance with only 3 star skill moves and 10 out of 10 for his passing, defending and physical. Now overall, I think he's a really good overall center defending mid to use on FIFA 21 with high defending work rate and he will cost you around 150k and for me i think he fully deserve it so for me i'm going to give him 9.5 out of 10 just if he had better agility balance finishing and four star skill moves i would 100% give him 10 out of 10 Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and tell me on the comment below which player should I review next. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.